If you don't know me, my name is Taranjit Singh Rai and yes, I am an award-winning scientist, teacher, lecturer and a football coach. What I'm not is a financial advisor. These videos are totally for entertainment purposes only. This chicken shit is away. I want to give you an update on Mintrust. Remember a long, long time ago, almost a year ago, I made two videos on Mintrust. I will leave a link in the description if you want to watch them. We participated in this protocol as a CAE participant. I also then uh, participated in LBP. I have also grown very close to the team of Mintrust. I am also an executive ambassador in the Mintrust protocol. So everything I say today should be viewed with that lens. However, Mintrust did not sponsor this video. I am not getting paid for making this particular video. Just a, a quick summary, if you don't know what Mintrust is, it's a capital efficient borrowing and lending protocol. <laughs> you will say, what is the difference? There's so many borrowing and lending protocols. The difference is that the protocol will capture the fees of all liquidations, buy back the governance token, which is mint and distribute it to the users of the protocol. Basically all the value is captured by the protocol and retained by the protocol. It is launching on Ethereum, in Q1 uh, early next year and the private launch is about to start and I'm going to update you on those steps. I will also update you on the revised tokenomics. Previously, the protocol was competing against really predatory protocols, which were Ponzi-nomics basically, were giving governance tokens as rewards, very, very high emissions. Ultimately, protocols tanked the value of the token tank. Mintrest is doing the things right way and you will understand in a little while later. Let's get to the roadmap. The first phase of the launch is the private launch. And here, only the LBP, also the CAE uh, participants and the NFT holders will be able to participate. The game theory here is that all the LBP and CAE participants will be given the option of lock and load. It basically means uh, your token balance will be doubled. If you have participated with 500 USDC, now that is 1000 USDC. So the so initial price per token which you accepted as fair value is going to be halved. And this all tokens are not coming from protocol treasury. They are coming from the team's own private allocation. So kind of a sacrifice by the team for the protocol. In return, you would have to accept the same terms and conditions as the Mintrust early supporters, private investors, which is a 12 month lockup followed by 12 month vesting. There is no need to rush. There will be plenty of time for you to think what you're gonna do. It's all game theory. So you can check your balances, you can lock and load, you can check the NFTs you hold when you connect your wallets to the protocol. The next phase, is the protocol launch. Again, it will be only reserved for NFT holders. There's only 400 NFTs which are available and these NFTs at the point of mint will be able to be tradable on OpenSea. So very, very short supply of NFTs. Anyone who holds the NFT will be able to supply liquidity and also borrow tokens against their collateral. Remember, it is over collateralized and also because the protocol is not predatory, you will get notifications before you get liquidated. So really, I would say evolution of DeFi into Web3. And finally, in the first quarter of next year, there will be a public launch. Again, uh, more and more information will be provided. And if you want to stay up to date, just follow the CEO. So most of these videos I'm making, I'm just following the updates from uh, Josh. Josh and Ken driving this uh, mothership <laughs> into the next level of DeFi. So please give a follow at the rate founder boy. All the updates are there. Also, it doesn't hurt to follow me on Twitter. Uh, I am giving away a lot of Cosmos tokens at the moment. Again, if, if any of these tokens does 10x, 100x, your rewards will multiply exponentially. Uh, a lot of tokens, folks. So there are a few small tasks that you need to do. It's just because I want to get rid of bots. So you have to comment and you have to tell me why I should give you uh, this much amount of tokens. So I was talking about the revised tokenomics in the older version. So the total supply of mint is 100 million and 30. So not a lot of tokens. On top of that, in the red here, you have the old version of tokenomics. In the blue here, I have just summarized all the numbers for you. Dive deep into the Excel, Google Excels and simplified things for you. So the total supply is still 100 million and 30. Very, very few tokens. And in the red, you have the older emission rates. Um, here is every six months. So that's first month, six months. Uh, 12 months, 18 months, 24 months, so on and so forth. What is really striking here in the new revised tokenomics is you have very little emissions as compared to the older version. So from 10 million to 5 million, uh, you will have supply in the first month. 
and this supply is gonna be slowly and gradually mashed up to the 100 million uh, in 60 months so this will drive the value of the main token it's a bear market uh, a lot will depend upon how much total value is locked into the protocol i am excited the last thing is the emission rewards that you earn by staking mint has also been uh, subject to a vesting schedule over 15 years so again this is really that the idea here is if you stay in the protocol for long term you will get the value long term the value will increase the longer you stay in the protocol if you like the content hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification button i'm only your weekend youtuber if you have participated in the mint protocol or in any way involved do tell me in the comments what do you think about this revised tokenomics and i'll see you in the next video